interesting thing about autonomous vehicles versus you know, human drivers that exist on any rideshare program today is in a, uh, no matter what rideshare platform you use, whether it's Uber or Lyft or whatever, when you get in one of those cars, the software that's driving it is, is you know, a human brain. And so roughly, you know, maybe one, one experience versus another, a different car, a different service, you're gonna have roughly the same level of, of driving ability. But the thing that excites me about self-driving cars is um, a human level of performance is really just you know, a stop along the way to something that could be far better. And you know, as we've seen recently with AlphaGo Zero and other systems, you know, the best human performance in the world for any task, whether it's playing a game like Go or driving cars, is limited due to human factors. And when those start to fall away, when you have machines that exceed them, uh, I think it gets really interesting. You so you, can, you think once you get the cars out on the road and you're testing things and you're, you're gathering all this data, you, it's all going to accelerate really quickly from there. Yeah, yeah, and I think um, you know, there's probably an S curve here, and I don't know exactly when human driving performance will, or sorry, machine driving performance will tap out, but I think it's going to be far better than humans, and that's exciting to me. That's why I'm doing this and why most people, I think, are doing this is because of the profound impact that it can have on society. You know, we can eliminate car accidents and, and uh, really change the way people move around cities and, and uh, you know, spend valuable hours of their day.